seems like a lot of experienced gamers don't like the idea of infinite sequels, so when something new and original comes along, they're all very happy. Well, don't let them make it fool ya. I hate Mirror's Edge. I just had some extra mascara lying around the house and I decided to use it. Now when I first heard about this game, I heard from a person who was deeply affiliated with EA, so I heard nothing but praise. Boy, were they ever wrong. Wait, why did I have extra mascara lying around the house? Man, I have got to clean out that bathroom. In Mirror's Edge, no, I don't want to update my system. Quit asking. In Mirror's Edge, you play as the runner, Faith, who almost sounds like Cortana taking up a new profession. The runners are a secret group who passes along dangerous information in a society that seems to be a mixture of Fahrenheit 451 and 1984. Now, I thought I was original when I said that these animations made me want to buy car insurance from eSurance, but it seems that everybody else has said that too, so I gotta find some other way to be funny. The guy who trained you will talk you through your mission, so, like a good neighbor, he's always there. There are other runners like you who I thought would always be on my side, but betrayal seems to be commonplace in these hardcore games. The majority of running takes place on tall buildings, and when I'm controlling this game, you're never in good hands. And that really is all that the game is about. You're going around finding special information, you gotta jump, shimmy, and slide your way to it. But there's really only two parts to this game, running to a location, and running from the cops. So combat is not a very big part of the game, and I don't find that terribly compelling gameplay. When I talk to some people personally about Mirror's Edge, I know that my opinion of the game is very different from the general public, and I got used to the idea that my review was going to be very unpopular. But instead of releasing a view full of hatred, I decided to feel some questions hypothetically before they're even asked. Hey, Mirror's Edge is a great looking game. You gotta like the art. True, artistically, Mirror's Edge looks superb. It even uses our good friend the Unreal Engine. And the inside of a building having one color is a great idea. But let's clarify some things. This is art. This is not. All the rooftops are incredibly white. So white that my capturing device had trouble recording it properly. And since you spend a lot of time on the rooftops, playing this game is kind of like staring into the sun. At one point in the game, I was trying to gain access into a closed off room and the high route yielded no entry. And after half an hour of pissed off wandering, I returned to the high part and learned that I couldn't see this catwalk before because the afternoon glare was the same color as the metal. Mirror's Edge has an atmosphere that hasn't been explored before. Oh my goodness, I hate the music in this game. Although I have to admit it's a pretty good match for the game's style. I was trying to figure out why all the elevators took so long in this game, and then I realized that the developers were aiming for realism. It's the same reason why you can only carry one gun at a time. And all that running reminded me of high school track, which is a less than positive memory. However, I don't see the point in making video games just like real life. And Mirror's Edge is already a mixed bag of realism. It feels like the only people who live in this city are cops. The controls may take a little while to get used to, but once you do, you'll be unstoppable. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing multiple times and expecting different results. The controls in Mirror's Edge are insane. Sometimes I'll grab onto a ledge, other times I'll fall hundreds of feet and land on my back. You can slow down time to take an enemy's gun, but only works half the time, which is outstandingly embarrassing once you realize how slow time moves. At least Mirror's Edge is trying something new. You got a problem with that? Oh no, you misunderstand. I like new things. Just not this. Just because you're bad at a game does not mean it's a bad game. Okay, I have to admit, I am extraordinarily bad at this game. When I was taking notes for this game, I had the foresight to count how many times I died. The grand total came to 204 times, and this was on easy! Oh, I got more than a little frustrated. And excuse me, I thought that was the concept of a review. I play a game, and then I tell you what I think, and trust me people, it's not the new Othello. I had fun playing this game, what's wrong with you? The most fun I had with Mirror's Edge is when I got to shoot up a bunch of baddies, and I'm sorry if I like a proven formula. It is fun when you're making progress, but progress was not a concept I was familiar with because I kept dying every 10 feet. If this game was only supposed to be 10 hours, it was the longest 10 hours of my life. Even when I kicked this guy out of the helicopter and technically beat the game, he kept on shooting and I died once again, and it was at that point in time that my 360 controller became an honorary Wiimote. You're a homo if you don't like this game. Well, I guess I should start kissing dudes because my fancy has yet to be tickled. You can also play time trials in Mirror's Edge. While more fun than the main game, it reminded me a little too much of Blast Core and I had to stop myself before I kicked the game across an empty parking lot. But I do have some good news. I just saved a bunch of money by switching my car insurance to Geico. 